Hey guys, welcome to another Bitter Butter Render Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create these awesome solid tracks to use for your VFX project. Now, when I first started to learn about motion tracking and all that, I got really confused, mainly because every time I tried motion tracking, it just quite didn't fit. The motion wasn't perfect. The motion, um, the floor in Blender didn't align with the floor that I took a video of and all that. But then I learned this trick and I fa found out this trick. But before I explain the trick to you, I'll explain the whole logic of motion tracking. So there's actually two terms which you shouldn't get mixed up with motion tracking and camera tracking. So what I'll be showing you is kind of both, but mainly camera tracking, because if you camera track, you don't need to motion track because it's already tracked. It'll, it'll make sense once I actually start showing you how to do it. So the term motion tracking is where you're taking a point in space of the video you took and tracking the motion of that, pairing the motion of that. But camera tracking is where you're pairing the Blender's camera's motion with the camera that you took a video of or whatever of whatever you want or you record it off. And here I have an example over here and I'll show you the trick after I open up this example. So first click the new button VFX motion tracking over here and open up the footage um, that you've recorded. But before that, I'll show you my footage. I'll open up that real quick. Okay, as you can see here, I've in my footage, I've gotten a bunch of points in the ground and these points will tell blender or will give blender a few points to track since my floor is pretty glossy it'll have a lot of reflections and all that and that'll mess up the track and that's why i set this tracking markers up and i think it's best you should as well and try to keep it as neat of a grid pattern as well so when you match blender's floor to this floor it will be pretty good so with this um with this video selected, usually when I first started Blender tracking, I only had a single paper on the floor with motion tracking points. And that's what my issue was. Since it was only on the floor and I had the camera had just slight camera shake, it wasn't too much of a big motion. Blender couldn't tell if I was rotating the camera or moving the camera around. And that's when my track got solve errors up to like 13, 56 and all that crazy numbers. So here's the thing. The trick to get perfect solid tracks is to have not only tracking markers on the floor, such as here, but also on a wall. So you just give it a little bit of parallax if that's what this is called. It's just a way to, it's just giving Blender more points in a different area and different rotation just for it to differentiate between if my camera is moving or rotating. And that's really the trick. So here, let's just go track these points over here. Um, make sure to record in the highest FPS, maybe not too high, but 60 FPS should be fine to get rid of motion blur. And motion blur is a really huge issue while tracking because it blurs out the trackers while it's moving and Blender gets confused on what happened to the trackers and how it just randomly morphed into this elongated black spot. Okay, I've done setting up my tracking markers i still haven't tracked them yet and like i've said i set the tracking markers not only on the floor but also on the wall to you know get a solid track always so with that selected make sure you set scene frames on the video you took and you know you can record a video just similar to mine and you can prefetch so blender stores your video into your ram or memory whatever you call it just to get a smoother playback. And once that's done, make sure in frame one over here, click A to select all and control T to track the motion. And once that's done, you can see some of them kind of just disappeared off. They didn't really track. And 
as long as you have eight tracks or actually just go a little higher blender minimum trackers is eight but i still prefer going higher just to give blender more information so all the ones that have died out you can delete them now if there was a lot that died out like a lot that's when that's there's an issue and you might have to go in and refine the trackers but over here it's only just a few that we really don't need and we're just support trackers that we're giving blender a few more information if you want to call it let's delete that as well okay with that now what you want to do is go over here click normalize and uncheck prepass and track again and this will give it a better track for scenes like this so a control t and that tracked pretty good so now what you want to go over here um into the solve panel click keyframe and focal length to, um, and what this does is it's, it just tells Blender what to find out about the camera that we used. And you can click Solve Camera Motion. And once that's done, you can see that we've gotten a solve error. And so a solve error, anything above or below 0 0.3 is pretty good. Anything above that, it should be fine, but if it's too high, make sure to go ahead and refine your tracks and now if you can't refine your tracks because you don't know what's wrong you can always come up here into the cleanup and put in a error number that you want to clean up such as 0 0.9 and click clean and it'll choose out all the tracks that have gotten a high error value and then you can motion you can solve the camera motion again Right now we've gotten a 0 0.1 solver because we set up all the tracking markers in the wall as well and that's really good. 0 0.1 is a really good number. So we're off to a really good start. And what you want to do over here in the solve tab, just go scroll down, click set as background, and it'll just set the footage as the background of the camera, and click set up tracking scene. And this plane that it just created will act as the floor. So now what we want to do is find the floor. So track. So essentially what we're doing is finding the floor in our footage that we recorded and adding a plane or what Blender calls it, the floor in this case, and matching it up just with the floor of the footage. So it might sound a little confusing, but here's how to do it. So with the trackers you selected, try to choose uh, ang three trackers that are really close to a 90 degree angle or are 90 degree angles. So you can, ooh, I created a, so you can choose a tracker shift click on another one and the other one that would make three and you can click floor over here and see what happens right now it is really large but i feel like if we scale it down we can really see what's happening so so let's delete the cube here for now because we really don't need the cube and let's just scale down the plane so the orientation is the only thing that's not correct and you can just choose one of the trackers i prefer the middle one of the three that we chose and click set x-axis i usually go with the set x-axis but if you want to go with the y-axis that's fine okay so now let's check if the floor is really perfect and we can do that by going into the layout tab over here going into the camera and going into frame one and see how well the floor follows our floor. So over here you can see that the floor follows the floor exactly, no jitter or at least no jitter visible to our eye and no nothing. And with that you can build out your scene, your visual effects scene, just like I did here. Render out the footage with your preferred settings and you'd get the most abs absolute cleanest motion track ever. That's it for today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.